Hey y'all, I'm Shanna Giles and I'm Star Director in the Florida Panhandle area, around North Florida, around Destin. So um, I've had, I get a lot of questions about fundraisers. Um, I love doing fundraisers. It's kind of a passion for me, but because I love doing fundraisers and I've done several, I tend to get a lot of questions about them. So I wanted to um, break it up into a couple of videos. Uh, the first one I want to do is the Scent Circle fundraiser. There's so many questions y'all about Scent Circle fundraisers. Um, how, do you, how do you calculate them? Who does them? Um, how, do you, how do you get the $7 to give back? Well, I recently watched a video by the amazing superstar director, Heather Gorsuch, and she had the best idea um, for showing people how to break down the Scent Circle fundraiser and calculate it. So I took that idea and did my own little note cards for reunion went for our, cent, our fundraiser booth in the, uh, what was it called, the, uh, anyway, for our little fundraiser booth there. <laughs> and so I did those cards there and they seem to help tremendously. So Heather, if you ever see this video, amazing idea, amazing idea. Thank you so much. So I'm going to go over it real quick with y'all. First of all, I want to go over um, my Scent Circle fundraiser packets. I'm getting ready to start one with our local high school girls volleyball team. Um, all I did was post about a fundraiser and one of the moms contacted me and said, you know, can you give me more information on fundraisers? She has been a friend of mine forever and she has never ever asked about fundraiser. I've posted about them several times. So honestly, you never know when someone is going to reach out to you. Um, it just so happened that that worked perfect. So anyway, I gave her a couple of packets. I went ahead and made up a regular full catalog fundraiser packet and a scent circle fundraiser packet and went over and explained them to her. I gave her the packet so she could present it to the coach and she came back with, they wanted to do a fundraiser. So I've got their packets made up right now. So they're gonna be the easiest for me to show you. But first of all, there are several forms that you can use for Scent Circle Fundraiser. Um, there are tons on the Sensational Facebook, Sensational Fundraisers Facebook group. There are, a lot of talented consultants on there that know how to make these forms. I personally am not great with documents. I do know, I, I mean, I have some on there and I've tweaked them over the years, but creating a spreadsheet type document is not my forte. I can tell you that. So, um, I use what other consultants put up on there and I just change it up for what I want. So first, this is an example of one, and it shows Scent Circle at the top, Fundraiser Order Form Scent Circle. Scent Circle, six for $20. $7 per pack sold will go to the organization. And it's just a basic one, if you can see that. It's just very basic, and you can label with your information at the bottom, whatever you need to do, I think. Yeah, it's got that at the bottom. So that's just one simple one. Another one, I think this is, might be this. No, this one's a little bit different. This one's a little bit different. This one was one that was already on there also, and I believe it was Heather that does the Surprise Me Pick My Six. And so I put that one in there and just kind of highlighted it in yellow. But... I'll show you when I open up one of the packets that I'm getting ready to give out um, another thing that I did. So that's another one. And there are other ones on there. There are tons of them. Um, that's all the same. This one as well. Now this one is a larger form. <clears throat> it's it's going to be printed on a 
bigger sheet. This may be the one, I'm not sure, this may be the one that Dan Greeley made, maybe. Um, he has an amazing form on there, y'all. I love it. I've used it before, too, um, and just printed it on the larger pages and folded them in half and put them in our packets. So, <clears throat> back to our packets. So, this is my packet. It's very basic, very simple for Scent Circle fundraisers. <clears throat> on the outside, instead of printing out a whole information sheet to put on the inside, I print out, I do them half and cut them in half and staple it to the outside. And I do highlight, but you can highlight when you print it or whatever. But it's just the important information. Up here it just says CHS Girls Volleyball Cincy Scent Circle Fundraiser. And it has things like, you know, write their name on the outside of the envelope, place all collected money inside the envelope, and seal when ready to turn in. Uh, the due date, and I highlighted the due date because that's something their eyes need to be drawn to when the packet is due back. Um, each package of scent circles are $20 and includes all taxes and shipping. Each scent circle... What, yeah, each scent circle order form should order should be in multiples of six. Um, I had to add in there to keep separate from the full catalog fundraiser because these girls, knowing the difference in the two, they still want to do both. It's the first time I've given out both to one group at the same time, so this should be interesting. But um, these girls want to do both, so, and I'm gonna actually go this afternoon or tomorrow afternoon during their practice when I hand them out and I'm going to kind of go over everything with the girls so they understand first of all I want to get them hyped up about it I want to get them excited about the fundraiser but I also want them to understand the difference and why there's a difference so um, make sure each customer's name email and phone number are printed legibly I will order and package all orders by customer and you will be responsible for delivering your orders to the customer. You will receive $7 per cent circle six pack ordered. The net proceeds will be paid on or around the 15th of the month, the following month of fundraiser completion. The cent circle fundraiser is not available online like the full catalog fundraiser. Make checks payable to CHS, payment due at time of order, ordering, and then my information. And then there's a little bit of information about scent circles so they kind of understand the benefits and what you can do with them. Um, scent circles are great for hanging in cars, lockers, or any location a burst of fragrance is needed. Scent circles make great additions to gifts, stocking stuffers, or to have on hand for yourself. Um, and then just a little bit more information. So anyway, I staple that to the outside of every pack. On the inside, I'm going to have to open this, I guess. Sorry, hold on. Let me get this staple out of there. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so on the inside, it's very basic. It's one sheet. And if they need more order forms, they can contact me. Oh, that's upside down. So I used this basic order form. I think that's the first one I showed you. Um, I did put, now I don't know if we have these in the family store still or not, but I put a weathered leather since rub and smell sticker on the bottom because I have weathered leather up here. So just pick any scent that you put up there and put one rub and smell there just to kind of give people an idea of what one of the scents smell like. Um, I've got down here, prices include tax and shipping, payment due at time of order. And up here it tells the same information on the outside and then all their information. So what I did different, there was a consultant and I honestly can't remember her name. So if she happens to see this, um, I used your, your idea. So there was a consultant I met at reunion that came by our booth and she, when I had the idea from Heather to, where is it? pick my six and I put that on there she said that she also instead of that she will put um, things like let's see um, fresh and clean bakery citrus and fruity 
um, spa, whatever, you know, she'll just put that on there and then they can just check that if that's the type of scent they like, but they really don't want to go through and look at the scents or they don't know what these smell like or the name doesn't tell them what it might smell like. So um, they can just pick that and then us as the consultant can pick that for them. We can pick what kind they like. So I loved that idea. So see y'all, we all take ideas from each other. Everybody just sort of works together and this is how, this is actually why Scentsy is such a family oriented thing. We all work as a family. We all work as a team. We may not all sell on the same team. We may not all be on the same team or um, we may not all be friends, but ultimately we all work together to create things to help each other. And that's what it's all about. So anyway, back to Scent Circle fundraisers. So, um, I just picked uh, a few scents. I did, I did a variety. Um, Amazon Rain, Apple Butter Frosting, Blueberry Cheesecake, Christmas Cottage. Anyway, the list goes on. Um, I do like to always put weather leather on there because people love that leather smell in their car. Honestly, that's the only one my mother will use. So if she didn't see weathered leather on here and she were she were ordering from a fundraiser, she wouldn't buy because she does not use anything but weathered leather. So I always try to put that on there. Um, so anyway, that's the form I use. And that's honestly all that I put in there. I did when I was given the packet to the parent, I did staple a scent circle onto the outside of the packet, I mean, onto the inside of the packet to the form, just so she could show um, the coach and the girls what a scent circle was. Because some a lot of people don't know what a scent circle is. And then after I got the fundraiser, I gave her that as a thank you gift. So um, I do use our Scentsy. Now this is an old one. I have, I have some new ones, but this is an old one. But I do use our Scentsy fundraiser envelopes. I use them for every fundraiser because I like them. They're professional looking and they are very inexpensive through the family store. So, okay, now to the calculations. Let me get my little nifty cards here that Heather was so wonderful in creating with this idea. So these are the cards I used at Reunion. And this is going to help you with the breakdown. So here goes the breakdown. So for those of you that don't know how to calculate this, you're going to be amazed that you actually understand it after this. I was. So, all right, Scent Circle Fundraiser. So here is, I'll lay them down. Here is our actual cost. Actual cost of a six pack of scent circles is $15. I'm sorry, there's a glare on these. And it's, I know it's transposed. I don't know how to do that. I'm not great at videos yet. So anyway, the actual cost is $15 plus tax. So I did sales tax at 7% just to um, give you a general idea. I think ours is six and a half here. But sales tax at 7% is going to be a dollar five. Try to get that glare off. So 15 plus a dollar five is 1605. So that's what you're actually paying for a six pack of scent circles at 7% sales tax. And you're going to have to calculate your own sales tax. So it'll all depend, the profit will all depend on whatever your sales tax is. So your selling cost of the six pack of scent circles is $20 and that includes tax. It's a flat $20. Um, they just give that, honestly, people will whip out a $20 bill in a heartbeat. All right, so organization's profit. This is the first part of it. $20 minus the $1,605. Now remember the $1,605 was your actual cost selling cost with 7% sales tax. That gives you $3.95 that the person has overpaid. So when you get that back in, when you get these packets back in, you're going to set that money aside. 
if it's 375, 325, whatever it is, you're going to set that money aside because that's part of their profit. The next part is going to be your commission. So you've got your $15 PRV, the actual cost, and I calculated it at 25% commission. So it depends on what your commission is. If it's 20 because you're a new consultant, or if it's 25, or if it's 30% because you've sold over 2,000 that month. So you've got $3.75 in commission on your $15 selling cost, uh, or your $15 purchasing cost, sorry. But you can choose whatever percent commission you wanna give. If you can't afford to give 25%, if you wanna give them 20 or 15, that's your choice, but you calculate what your commission will be that you're gonna give them. So here's how we figure their profit. You take the $3.95 that was overpaid, and that is the amount overpaid with 7% sales tax. And then the $3.75 from 25% commission. That gives you a $7.70 profit. So that's per six pack, $7.70. That's where the $7 comes from. You can choose to give them whatever you want. Uh, it's just easier to say $7. And that's what I told these girls. But ultimately, depending on how well they do, I may be able to give back more. But it's going to at least be the $7. So that is how you calculate that. But I know it's the end of the month, but we will have other transition months. So I want to go over transition month with you, and you're going to be shocked at how much you can give back. So transition month, an actual cost is $13.50 plus tax. That's what you're paying for a six pack of cent circles. So if you're using 7% sales tax, that glare is driving me crazy. 7% um, sales tax, that's going to be $14.45 is what you're actually paying per six pack of cent circles during transition month. So their profit, the $20 minus the $14.45, that is $5.55 overpaid. With 7% sales tax, that's what you're gonna set aside when you get them in, because you're still gonna charge the $20, um, because it's a fundraiser. So even during transition month, you still charge the $20. People do not gripe about that when it's a fundraiser. You may have your random person that's going to say something, but for the most part, they won't. Um, next is your commission. 25% of $13.50 is $3.38. So that's with 25% commission, you're going to have $3.38 in commission. So here's their profit. What do y'all see this? I'm going to die. Um, $5.55 overpaid, $3.38 in your commission, $8.93 profit, y'all. It's almost $9. That's like, I mean, that's getting close to what some of these other fundraiser companies can give back at 50%. So $8.93. Depending on your sales tax, you can bump it up to 8 you may be able, able to even bump it up to nine if you have a low sales tax. So last one, and this I'm just going to touch on because it can get kind of crazy, but tax exempt organizations, you're still going to charge the $20 because you're not showing sales tax. So you're still going to charge the $20. The difference is you're going to roll back whatever you the difference in what you pay in sales tax, um, you're going to give that back to, or not what you pay in sales tax, I'm sorry, what they would have paid if they were not tax exempt, they will get all of that sales tax money back. Um, so with a, during a regular month with the $15 PRV, if y'all can see that, um, they're going to have an $8.75 profit with 
with that one because you're just going to give that amount back to them. During transition month, they're going to have a $9.88 profit. So sales ta um, tax exempt organizations, that's another video within itself. But if you I'm looking for my thing, if you deal with tax exempt organizations, then um, we can go into that in more detail later. I don't deal a lot with tax exempt organizations. My computer's doing something funny. I don't deal a lot with tax exempt organizations. Even our schools are not considered tax exempt. We still have to charge tax with our school fundraisers because it's considered a resale item and they're really only tax exempt on things that they purchase for the school such as office supplies or um, classroom supplies things like that but something like this it's considered a resale product so our schools are not even tax exempt we still have to charge it so anyway I hope that helps everybody kind of understand it a little more I know I talk kind of fast and I probably should have slowed down, but uh, that is the best way I know to break down a Scent Circle fundraiser for you, and I think it makes it a lot more simple than a lot of us made it in the beginning when we first started learning about it. When you can see it on something and you can, you're a visual person, it tends to help you understand it a little better. So anyway, um, I hope that helps everybody and I'll be doing another video at some point. I'm not sure if it'll be today or not, but I'll be doing another video at some point and I'm going to do one on full catalog fundraisers because I do have a ton of questions for those as well. So I hope you all have a great day and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I'll see if I can answer them. Thanks so much. Have a great day.